Hey guys, this is Justine with Debt Free Millennials and I'm coming at you with some new information that actually my mom emailed to me about student loan interest. So CNBC just released an article that said the 10-year treasury notes are down, which means it has a little bit of a correlation to what the interest rate is on the federal student loans. So now that the interest rate on those treasury notes are down, it means anybody who is taking out student loans this year are going to be paying a really low interest rate. So it says in the article here, the US Treasury Department's auction of 10-year notes on Tuesday, this past Tuesday, which was May 12th, had a high yield of just 0.7% down from 2.4% a year earlier. So what this means is that for undergraduate Stafford loans, those interest rates will be 2.75%. This is by far the lowest I have ever seen federal student loans in my lifetime. When I was paying my student loan debt and I was paying off $35,000 of it, I was paying anywhere between 4.5% to 6.8%. So the good news is if you are stuck in the student loan cycle, I know how terrible it can be. The good news is that interest rate is a lot lower than what I paid and you're going to pay less in interest for that loan. Now, if you are in grad school and you are taking out graduate loans, your interest rates have also decreased from 4.3 to 6%. And then the plus loans are dropping to 5.3% down from 7.08%. So that is good news for borrowers, but I hate borrowing and I totally think that if you can pay for your tuition in cash, do so in terms of grants and scholarships first. Also, if you currently have student loan debt and you've already graduated, this will not impact your interest rate on those loans. Unfortunately, you're pretty much locked into that if you signed up for a loan with a fixed rate. That's the way the cookie crumbles, people. But if you are looking to pay off your student loan debt quickly, you know you can DIY this by either using the debt snowball or the debt avalanche. I personally did the snowball in which I looked at all of my little student loans inside of my account, and then I picked the loan that had the smallest outstanding balance and threw all of my extra payment towards that loan until it was paid off and then moved on to the next one and the next one. So making minimum payments on everything else except for that smallest loan balance and paying it off very quickly. Alternatively, you can do this according to the highest interest rate by focusing on the loan with the highest interest rate first, paying that off completely, and then moving down the line into the smallest one. Again, making all of the minimum payments on everything except for that loan with the highest interest rate. This is what we're doing in the debt-free millennials community. People are paying off their student loans really fast. So I would like to know in the comments below if you are using the debt snowball or debt avalanche to pay off your student loan debt. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos on how to crush your debt and live payment free.